Happy Friday and welcome to Friday After Class. Today we're going to talk about subdomains and how they can make or break your Google Analytics setup. First of all, what is a subdomain? Here's a quick anatomy of a URL. A subdomain is a dot anything before the root domain. Yes, www is a subdomain. We also see a lot of apply dot or alumni dot subdomains in higher education. And really, higher ed has more subdomains than just about any other industry. To make subdomains a little bit more tangible, let's pretend that your website is your campus. You probably have lots of buildings on campus that you want to track all together, just like you have lots of subdomains that you'd like to track as one unit. Think of each building on campus as a unique subdomain. Of course, it's valuable for you to know how students move between buildings on campus. What paths are they taking? How long are they in each building? What rooms they visit within those buildings? And with this setup, we can learn all of those things by digging into the reporting. But what's really valuable is tracking all of those subdomains or buildings as one property or campus so we can understand how people got to campus in the first place. If you want to get more traffic to your website, it's valuable to know where your quality traffic is coming from. So setting up Google Analytics to track across multiple subdomains gives us more valuable data. We can tell in the example that students came to campus from a major freeway instead of just that maybe one student came from the biology building and then went to the student union. Here are a few steps to sort out your subdomains. First, you need a map of campus. Finding all of your subdomains will help you do this. I bet there are a lot more out there than you realize. A good IT department will have a list. A 30-day free trial and crawling your site using Moz will also give you a list of all the linked URLs in your site, containing a lot of subdomains. And then also adding a subdomain filter to your test view in Google Analytics will show you what you're currently tracking. We'll provide these links in the transcript below. Next, we use a simple subdomain mapping exercise. Once complete, we use this as a list of where to place the code. Populate it with all the subdomains you can find and answer these questions. Is it currently tracked? Are you currently using it? If so, what are you using it for? Do we include it on Canvas? Do we track it separately, or do we just redirect it? And if we are including it, do we see the need to break it out in a separate view? Once you have a clear map of where to place the code, go get the code. Click on the admin in the top right corner of Google Analytics, then select the property, then click on Tracking Code, and you'll see the base tracking code. If you're using asynchronous code, there's a small modification to set the domain name. If you're using Universal Analytics, which Michael's recent FAC addresses in more depth, you won't need to make any customizations to the code. Subdomains are one of the biggest challenges to having high quality data in your Google Analytics, and Hired is known for having lots and lots of them. Hopefully now you know why it's so important and why it's worth your time to get these figured out. Thanks for joining us at Friday After Class.